I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment out here in Kearns, Texas. Hey, today we wanted to dive into another Yanmar model. Uh, it's the YT series. So we've actually done some, some videos on the YT series before uh, because we've been selling Yanmar now for uh, almost four years. And so we had done, originally we had done a YT3 series video talking really in depth about the transmission and, and some of the different features as far as how the loader removes. But we really haven't done a really good walk around video and it's been a while since we've done one, so we wanted to jump in and talk about the YT. The YT series is Yanmar's premium tractor. It comes in two models, the YT347, which you see behind me, and the YT359. You can get it in an open station or a cab variety. Uh, so it's, a, it's one of the larger compact tractors uh, with a lot of features, a lot of benefits, a lot of capacities, and, and so uh, it's a pretty attractive tractor for a lot of folks. It's got the YL610 loader with 2,500 pounds of lift capacity, and it's got a skid steer quick attach, which is nice if you're going to be moving any hay or anything like that. Uh, it's got self-leveling rod, um, it, so there's a lot of features on the loader. We can obviously add those third function hydraulics if you need to get that as well. The joystick already has a button uh, integrated for it, so if you need to add third function, that's pretty easy. Um, as far as under the hood, it's a Yanmar four-cylinder diesel engine, so I think that's Having that four-cylinder diesel obviously is a very nice torquey engine for, for what this tractor is. This, the 47, ha is, is basically the 47 horsepower tractor, and the 59 is, is, is close to 59 horsepower. So it kind of gives you two really good options. There is a difference in engine size between the two. So obviously th this is a little bit smaller four-cylinder engine versus the, the larger four-cylinder engine. The, the, I think this is the 88. Um, but there's a larger four-cylinder diesel, diesel engine in the 359. All of these tractors are going to come with four-wheel drive. Uh, we've got ground level fueling. Got On the cab, we're going to have a really nice lighting package. We're going to have the hood lights and the side lights as well as the cab roof lights. Um, so on the cab, we're going to have a really nice lighting package. And on the open station, we do as well, but we do, we do miss out on the upper, upper lights. Um, kind of walking around a little bit. On the back, we do have category one hookups with the telescopic ball ends that we like so much. Uh, so we do, like I say, good, you know, handy feature to have is those telescopic links. We also have the, the sliding bar kind of sway links versus the turnbuckles, and I like those quite a bit. Um, it's all cast iron rear end, cast iron drivetrain. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a draw bar here with a hammer strap, which not all implements need a hammer strap, but there are certain applications, maybe a small square baler, where having that hammer strap is, is incredibly important and it's included on this tractor at no additional charge. But one of the things I think is really unique is, is that it does come standard with two sets of hydraulics. You're gonna find you're gonna find a lot of tractors in this class. You have to add that or maybe it comes with one. Yanmar is going to include two at, at no additional charge. So when we're really looking to price these tractors, you really got to start looking at equal specs. And so when I say that you know, maybe on, on a competitive tractor, there's one set of hydraulics, but if you ever needed that second hydraulics, we're gonna have to add that separately. And, and then you're gonna really see some cost advantages to this tractor. Um, but it does have windshield wipers and everything. It is a premium cab that gives you a lot of options. And I really like, kind of like the design. It's kind of kind of got that curve style uh, cab, which we'll jump into in a little bit. So when you open the cab, the first thing I always like to point out is that 10 year warranty sticker. So on all Yanmar tractors, you're gonna have that 10 year powertrain warranty. Um, they, all they ask you to do is you know, maintain your tractor on a regular basis and then they're gonna cover that powertrain for 10 years. You won't find another base warranty in the industry that, that has that kind of backing. Uh, and it's a Yanmar warranty, so there's no third party involved. It is done through Yanmar and that's, I don't know, it, it's not the, ex you call about your extended car warranty. It's not like that. This is a Yanmar warranty. They're standing behind their product with, it, with a 10 year powertrain warning. Uh, as you notice in the cab, it's a very, very nice cab. It's extremely well laid out. All the controls are kind of at your fingertips. Um, the, one thing I've noticed, the AC in these tractors works amazing, which is in Texas, it's incredibly important that that AC can keep up with our 105 degree temperatures. And in our area, maybe 105 degree temperatures with high humidity. Um, as we jump up in, so we start to notice that we've got all of our controls really well laid out. Um, and the, this is probably the best time to start talking about the transmission. 
So the Yanmar tractor, uh, the YT series, utilizes what's called an IHMT transmission. I have another video where I really go into every single little feature uh, and how to set it and how to adjust it. But what you need to know is it's kind of, the best way to describe it is kind of a hybrid between a hydrostat and a mechanical transmission. We want to kind of get the efficiency of a mechanical transmission, but with the hydrostat uh, control because it kind of blend the best of both worlds. In the large tractor world, what this would be more commonly referred to as a CVT or maybe an IMT or a IVT transmission, which is basically a continuously variable transmission. Uh, so you'll see it has a shuttle lever, which is t common among you know most tractors, and so it's got a power shuttle. You don't have to clutch it. But the unique thing about the IHMT, it's not engaging a different set of clutch packs. It's changing the way that the transmission is controlled. So it's it's really adjustable and really easy to tune how that shuttle happens because we're not engaging different gears. We're actually just swinging the transmission to where it drives it in reverse. Um, it is a three range though, so it does give you a couple options. In, in range three is your transport gear, um, but in one and two, you get some added functionality in the tractor because they know that's where you're going to be working it the most. And so you have some more controls and we'll probably talk about that in a little bit. We're going to get, we're going to drive this tractor a little bit and kind of do an in the cab look, but just some of the features you need to know that, that when you go with the IHMT transmission is just how easy it is to drive. It basically drives like your car. Um, you have some adjustments and some settings, which can help you tune that. It's got cruise control. And when I mean cruise control, it's not just, hey, we're locking a hydrostatic pedal, but it's got cruise control like you'd find in your car. So I can turn it on, I can hit set, I can hit resume. So let's say I do need to stop and I tap on the brake. All I do have to do is hit resume and I go back to that exact same speed. Um, I can turn it back off. I can also increase or decrease just with a push of a button. So if I find that I need to get a little bit more speed, I just hit a button and I can, I can, I can raise that up a little bit. Um, it's also got auto throttle and anti-stall. So auto throttle being that as I'm driving it, if the tractor needs more RPMs to accomplish what we need to accomplish, it'll go ahead and throttle that engine up for us. An anti-stall, I guess my best way to kind of describe that is if I'm pushing into a pile of dirt and, and it begins to stall, anti-stall will back off on the transmission rather than let the engine die. Um, so it's, it's got some pretty cool functionality in here that, that make this tractor extremely easy and fun to drive. And there's also some controls over here which you can set how aggressive that, that, that shuttle takes place, uh, how aggressive that acceleration and deceleration happens. And so it really is, a really cool transmission that you can tune. Uh, it's an efficient transmission and it's really the only compact tractor of its kind that has that transmission. Whereas you will see a very similar transmission in much larger tractors, but in this size of tractor, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of unique. Um, this, they've been producing these as long as I've been a dealer and I know that a few years before that. So the, the YT with his IHMT transmission has been out a while. So it's, it's a proven transmission that I don't think is going to give you any trouble. Um, you do have a clutch, but it's actually a simulated clutch. So it's not a dry clutch that, that you're used to maybe on a synchro shuttle tractor, but for most, and you actually never need to use the clutch to drive the tractor. But for folks who are used to a clutch, it's kind of nice to have that ability that, that if, if that's what you feel you need to do, you can clutch it. But in 99% of the cases, I'll never use the clutch to drive the tractor. There's just enough functionality with how we drive it. And we, we basically drive it with the foot pedal. Um, a few of the feature comforts, you know, we talked about the air conditioning. It is a very powerful air conditioner. We've also got tilt steering and some of the nicer comforts. We talked about how it's got wipers as well as a washer fluid. So on our cab models, obviously that's pretty nice. Uh, it's got great lighting. We talked about the two remotes. Um, so you do have those. It's got kind of this beige one and the blue one. And you can add, there's a section here for a third remote. I don't know that we've ever had a need for that, but it's there. Um, and then on our, on our uh, joystick, we've got a lot of functionality here too, but notice that it's integrated. And so I can adjust my armrest and I can be resting my arm and then I can uh, you know, utilize this, this joystick. And there's a few buttons on here. There's a button to, to basically boost the engine. And I'll show you that after a while. That, that's pretty nice to let that speed of that engine kind of increase the speed of that loader. But there's also a button to change between modes. And we'll talk about that. But if you want to really dive into that, I've got another video out there on that. It's one of the early videos that we did. 
Um, and it's got a video or a button here to, to bounce back and forth between modes, which are presettable. And we'll, we'll talk about that as well. It does have electronic engagement of the three point, so that's very nice. It's kind of a modulated system, so it doesn't just hammer on. Um, three point controls, it's a pure position three point control. Still has two brake pedals, which is pretty common in most tractors. But it's just a very, very nice and clean, well laid out cab. Also in this cab, we have a, a very nice seat that's very adjustable. You've got different, uh, you know, obviously suspension adjustments and, and distant, you know, you can slide it back and forth. You've got armrest and things like that. So it's got a pretty nice seat for this class of tractor. We're also gonna, so now we're gonna fire this tractor up. We're gonna take it for a drive, show you some of the actual functionality, let you kind of see how this thing operates, and then we'll wrap it up. So a couple things to know when you're operating your YT series tractor. Hey, so now that we're up in the cab of this YT347 tractor, I wanted to show you a few of the features and functions that you get in this series of tractor. It is the premium tractor. So when it comes to operation, we've got a lot of controls of the transmission because it is that YIHMT transmission. So I want to show you kind of what some of the features and functions do. And so when I shuttle it into forwards, and of course I, when I'm driving and I never use the clutch, but when I shuttle it into forwards and I begin to take off, and I'm in second by the way, um, I want to show you kind of what, first off what this dial does, let's talk about the modes and some of the, some of the, you know, the other features of the transmission. Let's say like we're driving forward and we get up to a decent speed, about 2000 RPMs, if it's turned all the way up to the most aggressive setting and we let off, this tractor almost immediately comes to a stop. Where if we turn it all the way down and we get rolling, it takes a little longer. And so I'll show you what that looks like one more time. So let's say we're cruising forward. And once again, this is kind of when it's turned down versus when it's turned all the way up. You, hopefully you can kind of see that's a significantly more aggressive in the way that it shuttles. And it also, when we're shuttling between forwards and reverse, we'll turn it all the way down. Versus if we turn it all the way up, we'll do another shuttle. And you can kind of see that that turning that dial up makes the shuttle more aggressive as well as kind of that deceleration. Uh, so anyway, moving on from that, one other thing I wanted to kind of show you is if you have your cruise control on, it sets just like your car. And so right now I have cruise on. If I were to step on the brakes, it would stop. And then I could hit resume and it'll go right back on. And so I'm not, I'm not stepping on the pedal at all. And if I need to go a little faster, I could just hit the, the, uh, the, you know, the plus button for up, acceler, accelerate. Or I could hit, if I need to go a little slower, I can actually bump the button down and it'll slow that tractor down a little bit. Um, so there's a lot of features here that I think are really nice. And then we can also, which currently the auto throttle is on and anti-stall is on. So if I, for instance, on right now, auto throttle is turned off. So I turn it off and you can, you can hear that the tractor, when I start to move, the tractor's not throttling up at all. If I put it back in neutral, I turn on auto throttle here. Now the tractor is much, much more responsive because it's, it's controlling the engine based upon the demand on it. So when I start to drive, it's, it's sensing that and going ahead and kicking on, kicking on, you know, kicking the engine up to speed. So talking about the two modes, and I'll try to show you the dash here in a minute to kind of help you, to help illustrate what that looks like. But when we talk about two modes, there's an A and there's a B mode. And in each mode, and this is this is true for range one and range two, um, you can set maximum engine RPMs as well as maximum speed, but you can set those independently. And so just to kind of give you an idea, 
So right now, mode A is set to 6.2 miles an hour and 2830 engine RPMs. And so I can turn, so right currently I'm turning the engine RPMs down, but the, but the max speed isn't decreasing. And the reason why is because this transmission can achieve max speed without maximum engine RPMs. So just so you know, I was checking this out here in, here in range or mode A, the max you can set that engine speed to is 2,830 RPMs, but I can actually back the engine, the max engine speed all the way down to about 2,550 before I actually begin to lose any of that top speed. So I'm gonna try that one more time and see if I can figure out exactly where that cutoff is. It's actually 2,540 RPMs is where, where it begins to back that max speed off because it can no longer reach that max speed without that. So for right now, I'm in mode A, I'll be able to go, I'll be able to go, you know, six miles an hour at 2,540 RPMs. Uh, so it's kind of nice and you can control that and, and at lower speeds, it's even more variable. So. I could also go a max speed of one mile an hour or, or all the way down to 0.3 miles an hour also at 2830 RPMs. So let's say I needed all my engine speed for whatever I'm doing, but I didn't need a lot of ground speed. I could max this thing out and the fastest it'll ever go is 0.3 miles an hour. So it's pretty comparable to a hydrostat, but you don't get the added controls that we get with the with the two modes. And so for instance, so for instance, it's it's kind of common that maybe if I'm tilling or something and I'm going down a furrow that I can go, maybe I'm going two miles an hour. So I'm gonna get up to two miles an hour and I'm gonna need it at 2,600 engine RPMs because that's that's how fast I need it to be really tilling good. And then I'm going to switch with the button right here on the joystick to go to mode B. And I'm going to, when, when I come out of that, that turn row, I'm going to back the engine speed off to 2000 RPMs, but I'm actually going to be able to go faster. So like right now, maybe I'm tilling down the row, I've got my tiller working good. But when it comes time to lift the tiller out, I can pull the tiller out hit the mode B button, I can actually go faster with less engine RPMs to turn around. And then I get ready to till again. I switch back to mode A and we're back into tilling mode. And so there's a lot of usages for that feature. We sell a lot of pasture sprayers. I always use that as an, that as an example because it honestly doesn't take much engine RPM to turn the, the pump on the sprayer, but you sometimes want more ground speed. So we're able to kind of tune that with that tractor. And part of what we're doing there is, is just saving fuel, saving wear and tear on the engine. It's not so loud in the cab. There's just a lot you can do with it. But I really like it because you can tune it to exactly what you're looking for. And one little nice feature as well, let's say I'm going forward and I'm in mode A, you can change this on the fly. So let's say, I'm tilling, but oh, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching something that's a little too thick. Rather than change it, my foot pedal, I'm gonna leave that maxed out, but I can dial back the speed with this dial right here. So there's just a lot you can do about it, and then I can speed it up, and I've never changed the position of my foot. So it's really, really nice, and then obviously you can go back to, you can go back to turning your cruise control on and bumping it up, and you can, you can also, and I guess I should mention, you can also set your throttle, but your throttle is only gonna go as high as whatever your maximum engine speed is set at. So let's say I'm setting still and I have my maximum engine speed set to 1800. When I rev it up to 1800, that's as fast as it goes. But here again, I can adjust that with my dial. So there's just so much you can do with these features in this tractor and it's it's just it's really unique for for what compact tractors typically give us today so the transmission is obviously the nicest feature that's in this 
but I also wanted to point out a few of the other controlling features that we do still have the clutch, we do still have, we've got two rear remotes, we've got our three point down here, um, PTO engagement is right here on the side console, really easy to get to. Um, and one thing that I haven't talked about is the boost feature. And so let's say I am, it's time to, to do a little loader work and you're coming up to, to raise up to a pile or whatnot, and you wanna move your loader can push this front button on the joystick and it'll rev to whatever your maximum engine speed is set at. So right now it's at 2100 RPM, RPMs. So if I need that loader to work a little faster, you're raising up, pull that button, it boosts that engine RPM, which in turn gives us more hydraulic flow. So it's, it's just packed full of features. It's one of the one of the more advanced tractors that we sell in this category but the great thing is yanmar still backs it up with the great warranty um with it's still very you know competitively priced for what it is um you get the most technology the most features everything comes standard um but but for a for a pretty darn competitive price so i just don't know it's it's pretty hard to beat these yt series tractors depending on what you're using it for don't get me wrong there's other tractors that we sell that, that fit other, you know, applications, whether it be a more simple tractor or something like that, or you need something a little heavier. There's always things that you can do. There's always other options for, you know, that, that might fit you better. But just summing it up, the, the YT series is a, is a really fun and easy tractor to learn to drive. It's a very safe tractor to drive, um, and anybody can jump on this. So, you know, your kid gets older and it's time for them to learn to do some tractoring. It's very, very easy to jump on them, and you really don't have to worry too much about them tearing anything up. So with just a simple little, uh, you know, uh, simple little instruction, they'll be ready to roll and, and, and they'll be able to drive this thing like a pro. So, so if you guys are looking for, a, for a, maybe a large compact tractor, maybe with a cab, maybe without, you want one that's very easy to drive with a great warranty to back it up. I, I think it's worth checking out the YT series. Once again, this is the Anmar's premium series. So if you're not needing something maybe quite this nice, definitely check out the YM series, which is the YM 342, 347 or 349 or 359. And we have really good videos on those as well. So refer to those. So if you're not needing something quite this premium or you're looking to be at a little, little better price point, the YM is, is a great economical option that still gets you more or less the same capabilities in terms of horsepower, in terms of lift capacity and things of that nature. So definitely there's a tractor here in this lineup for anybody's needs. Um, if, if you want some more information, check out our website, check out our YouTube channel, check us out on, on you know, uh, Instagram, Facebook. We, we've got, we're, we're all over the place. We're always shooting new content on these tractors or just give us a call or text us at 903-270-0877. We're your dealer here in Central Texas for Yanmar Tractors.